Hello everyone, Aaron here from ASM Computing. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial in Dreamweaver. Now I'm using CS4. What I'm going to be showing you is how to actually use the submit buttons to link to other pages or to other websites or any other links basically you want them to link to. Now I know a lot of you guys out there know how to do this so if you know then obviously just skip on but if you're a beginner just starting out in the web design um, I'm just letting you know stick around and watch this it may be useful to you you may like how to use it and might want to use it on your site so yeah so let's uh, open up Dreamweaver now as you can see I'm, I'm actually building my site at the moment so I'm going to use my site as a demo. So basically all we want to do is as you can see I've made three already and all I've done is just put them in div tags. So what I'm going to do is right there as you can see it's a div tag. I'm going to go into my code view and as you can see what's highlighted in blue is the the actual div tag I've just clicked on so you can see it says opening div and closing div so what I'm going to do is at the end div tag which would be the less than symbol forward slash div and then greater than symbol I'm just going to hit enter which will bring me underneath it and what I'm going to do is go back to design view you probably can't see it very well, but my cursor is actually flashing just there. Basically, it's just on the end of that div tag where it closes. So when I make the new button, it will just fall underneath this one. So all we want to do is just click on Insert at the top. Oh, uh, go to Form, come down and click on Button. Now we'll just leave this blank and we'll sort this out in a minute. I just click OK and it says do you want to add a form tag just say no we don't need a form tag because we're not actually going to be posting anything through to MySQL or any other functionality so we don't need that and as you can see my buttons there and we need to just add a div tag and the link to it and obviously we just want to change what it says rather than submit. So the easiest way is just click out off of the button once it's actually been put onto the page then select it again and then you'll see here button 5 is the button name so you can leave that at default of whatever it comes up as. The only one we want to change is the value. This is what's shown to the user or to the, the actual person on your website whether it be your client or any other any other person basically just looking on your site so I'm just going to call this one YouTube just for tutorial purposes so when I click here you'll see it will change I'm going to select that again and I'm going to go into my code view and as you can see I've got my code there which is my button, the input type, submit, name, ID and value. The only ones things that I don't need are these label tags. Let's get rid of them. There we have that. And basically what I'm going to do is at the beginning of this input type, I'm going to do the less than symbol, div greater than symbol. That will open our div tag. Then I'm going to do less than symbol a href equals double quote double quote greater than symbol. That's made our nest for our opening div and our link. And at the end, so basically you just want to put this between the input type and where it says value. That will be your opening and closing for your button. So at the end, we want to do less than symbol forward slash and you'll see that it will actually insert what needs to go there for us so that's that so we don't actually have our link in there yet so let's go to design 
And now you can see I've got a div tag. If I actually select that, you'll see it's got, it says div ID. So let's go back into the code. So in here, we just want to write wherever we want it to go to. If it was somewhere on your website, you would just put the name of the page dot PHP or whatever the included file is. Because I'm going to a different website, I'm going to put in HTTP double dot back, uh, forward slash forward slash sorry and then www dot youtube dot com. Now that will send us to YouTube by clicking on that button. Save. Open up FileZilla. Sorry about this guys, I should have had this open really. And let's just send over the page. Okay. So back into my browser. And I've actually got it here in the page I'm making. So if I refresh. Oh. Sorry about that guys. Hold on. Two seconds. Let's go back into that. As you can see, I've got a YouTube button, and in Chrome, when you select over the button, you actually see down here at the bottom left, comes up a little blue tag, and it tells you where it actually goes. So that's profile, delete account, so on, so on. So that should say YouTube. Yep. So if I select that, obviously it goes to YouTube. Now the only thing with this is, obviously, if you didn't want it to go and refresh over your website, all you need to do is go back. So we're back on our website, just quickly go back in and after you put in where you want it to go to, the site name, put space and then put target equals double quote, double quote, uh, sorry, yeah sorry, double quote, double quote, um, yeah sorry and then uh, underscore blank, sorry about that, I was miles away. A file, just quickly save that, refresh, send that over, okay, now if I go back to the site and refresh, now if I click that, you'll see now that I've still got my page open and I've got it in a new page. So I hope that helps you out guys and uh, I'll get some more tutorials up soon. Okay, see you later guys.